I don't know, but I am feeling so blessed to be in the house of the Lord. And I'm feeling so blessed to know that the presence of the Lord is here. Are you feeling blessed this morning? Hallelujah. Then why don't you give him a yard of praise? Hallelujah! Hallelujah. 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 You see, when we do the yard of praise, we lift up both hands to heaven and we give a praise. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. You see, when you're in the hospital bed, and string up, string up, string up, and yeah, go up, you know. So while you're able to, I want everybody lift them hands and give God a yard of praise. Yes, God. And when I hold the mic, I can only give a toad of praise. One hand, one hand, toad of praise. No Shabbat in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God. We're going to praise God with understanding. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As we prepare our hearts to hear the word that God has for us this morning, coming through his maid servant, our pastor, Reverend Dr. Clara Marshall, one of those persons who took John 3.16, as I said before, very seriously, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. She took on the verse, and if Clara Marshall believes in him and she shall have everlasting life and she's been walking with that same tone ever since that day and we give God thanks for the woman of God fearlessly boldly and really really just standing up for the Lord Jesus Christ you'll hear from her right after the female voices of the choir comes to minister oh blessed be the name of the Lord Ladies, come and bless us. The next voice you'll hear after will be that of Reverend Dr. Clara Marshall, our pastor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
says the name of Jesus is so sweet it sounds like music to repeat it makes my joy full and complete oh bless the name of Jesus this morning brothers and sisters I don't know why people have to worry when he was born upon again when he was found the most important thing is that he was born and this morning, this morning we are happy that he took up the challenge to be born and to become our savior. That we could worship him and can worship him in spirit and in truth. And God knows why he sent his son. And he knows why he called him Jesus. Because there are some broken hearts and some broken lives that he needed to mend. So Jesus came and he came just because. Masa God a God. Masa God a God. God in the morning. God in the evening. Masa God. 
Can you, if you can identify with me this morning, that God of God, stand with me this morning. If you can identify that God is not God, you sit down. But as long as you know that Master God of God this morning, and it doesn't matter what and who we are, He's still God. And whether you like Him or you want to receive Him or not, He's still God. He's God in the morning. He's God in the evening. But He's God in sickness. And He's God in death. So anything that happens, Master God. Master God of God.
Grace in the house this morning. Bless the name of the Lord. As we look towards the words of the Lord this morning, the theme for the month was, or is still, Jump for Joy, the Lord is here. So this morning the topic says, Here comes Jesus, will you receive him? The scripture read this morning speaks to Mary and Joseph in a kind of situation that we wonder about. But God has a plan and his plan was manifested in that way. Amen? Amen. Because out of it came you and I. Amen. So God did something extraordinary and he gave his son Jesus Christ as a gift to the world. He came in exchange for your sins and for my sins. And this morning we are thankful. Let's bow our heads as we talk to the Lord. Mighty God, how great thou art. There is no one like you this morning. There is none that can be compared to you. But we are grateful that you knew us even when we did not know you. We are happy that you died for us, even when we did not know that you did it. But this morning, we know that you did it. And you did it out of obedience and out of your love for your Father. Mighty God, we thank you that your Son came, and through him, we are being delivered. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. It is a time where we talk about Christmas. And we expect to get. Some of us expect to get more than giving. And maybe if we don't get anything, we quarrel out there is no love. But the Bible says, I will bless those who bless you. So when you give to somebody and the person say, God bless you, you are being blessed. But when you are at the receiving and you are not getting any blessing, because you are not blessing anybody. So this morning I want to say to us, Jesus Christ came by special delivery. <clears throat> came out of a virgin called Mary. And you know the significant thing about this Mary. Nobody just call her Mary. You know we have Sister Mary over there. We can say, Mary come here. But this Mary, her title, stays with her from the day she became a mother. Her name virgin was never taken away from her. All when she had many children afterward and have a husband, she's still named Virgin. And you don't just call her Mary, you have to put on the little handle on the mug to say the Virgin Mary. Eh? Yes, it's a different thing that happened to this woman. And you know, I must give you this part of the story. During this week, I lecture a program which is called Reading the Bible as Literature for the seminary and I said to one man he was talking he liked to talk about religion and the whole Christmas and everything came up and I said to him did you know that Mary was a very young girl she was about 15 years old when Jesus was born and Joseph was about 40 he said where you get that from and he first me hear that we said yes my studies have proven based upon Ears and so on, and the manuscripts and all of that are proven it was that time. I never see an evangelist so in all my life. By the time 8 o'clock, the whole campus hear that Mary was 15 years old. Because <laughs> the man was so astonished. 
that. Can you imagine a 15 year old? Everybody meet, you know, him telling them that I told him that Mary was only 15 years. And then other people did not know. A lot of people did not know about this virgin birth that way. Because they said they thought she was a big lady. There's some came around me and I I had to be yes. preaching the gospel yes. according to Mary the Virgin yes. to let them know that look here, God had a vessel that was untouched. Yes. Because the lineage had been disrupted Amen. along the line. Yes. And when we look at the genealogy of the women through which Jesus Christ came, there were no proper and prims and proper women like you. Yeah. Yeah. From prostitute yes. to whore sitting by roadside yes. to uh, yes. the women were not no women that we could have given good character. Yes. <coughs> but God, although the devil tried to thwart the lineage. Amen. At the end, God found a vessel Amen. that could carry forth his son. Amen? Amen. And brothers and sisters, well, sisters, sometimes along the line, you must have messed up. But when you have met Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, yes. he forget all those things. Amen. And he have made you into, you know, you say, I've been born again. I'm a new creation. Yes. I'm a brand new girl. All things have passed away and I'm born again. And this morning it is Christmas season. So you know, but I think of what you usually do during the Christmas season. The nightclub that you usually go. And the people who usually come over to look for you. And the song of red, red wine and sitting on the top of the bay. Watching my bay, man. And maybe the man that you were with was a, a M A R R I E D man. And you said, Tell me a lie. Yeah, that you are not a married man. Hey, come on, somebody. Oh, go on, I couldn't have married. Jesus came into your life, you say, You're my love, you're my light, you're my Lord. Don't worry, everything I for Omega Jehovah. The King of Game, a wonderful name, gave me worthy of my offering. I'll always be thy name. So, now, but I think about them things, you see? The season in which we are, they searched for him and they found him. And this time, I don't care when, it was referred to as Christmas. Some say come out a pagan and whatever. Whether I come out or whatever, Jesus Christ sanctified. Amen? Jesus Christ sanctified. And this time we celebrate it. The Bible said three wise men came from country far. It never said that, that the three of them came from the same country. You know that? You ever think of that sister Tay? It's not the same place, you know. It don't have to the Bible didn't tell us that it said come from country far. So one said could be in Montego be and one said over Port Mar Maran. But they look in the east and they saw the star. And they follow the star and they follow it wherever it is. So if they converge at one place, okay time. And when it started, they could have been journeying long before. The 25th. Yes. Yeah. But when they reach the baby born, it's not baby born, then star come. Oh, star came before baby. And then follow. So it could be many months they have been riding camel, coming to find where the baby lay. But the shepherds weren't far off, they were nearby. And the same time the angel talked to them, they get up and went. And they found the baby. 
So you know, sometimes people have to say all kinds of things that people want to make God look bad. But this morning we know, Master God of God, amen? amen. And Jesus Christ is here. Yes. There's a man who, whose name is Max, Max Calado. And he think of some things and I look at it and I said, I would also look at it. You know, for Jesus Christ to leave heaven, full of light, street of gold, all those things. And step out from his throne because he, if God is king and he is son, he would be priest. Hmm? Amen. All right. And he removed all that robe and he put on skin. And he came, he was in light and he came and he get, get wrapped up into a woman's womb. We don't know, all of us came out of womb, so he, they must be very dark and... But to leave light to get into a dark place like that and live there for nine months. But when I look at it, it shows to us, you know, humility, loneliness, when which some of us are so high minded and haughty that we, there are certain things we can't do. And we won't do. But in the house of the Lord, I want to tell all of us that we are the same. Mm -hmm. All of us who sit down here, I don't care what money you have. Mm -hmm. All of us can sick with the same disease. Yes. And if you even go to university and they can to its word, to it to its word, and you have a good RKP, you have a good home there. Whether you like it or not, you have to go down there. So let me tell you, brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ leaves a palatial place and came to earth. He came because earth was dark. The world was dark. And he came to light up the world. A Christmas, you know. So light, I light up. Some of us don't even want to put in one little light because JPS. But JPS could not charge him when he came and light up the world. Yeah? So the, the angels came to worship him. But then he came and because he had to end up into a manger, the people he came to, those are the Jews, Jews they reject him. Because how under God's heaven, they're looking for a Messiah. And him could have born in a coping. Lying in a manger. That, I must have said this already, but that bed must not make, could not have been a comfortable place for a baby. Because if you were brought up and if I lie on a car, you might trust. <laughs> that is no easy place for a, an adult to be lying on. Because Kaya was there before in a spring. And in a spring was there before Sealy. And Sealy was there now before Pillar Top. So you must understand how far it's coming from. But Jesus had none of those as a baby. I want a case for poor little Mary and the big man called Joseph. Hmm? Could they angle this thing well? Everybody is locked up in a bed. There was no room in the inn. Comfortable. But this little girl and her fiancé only a manger the baby could get to lay in. But when this baby was born, Mary was a mother. I wonder, maybe she didn't know whether she was giving milk or must give him praise. Come on, somebody. So she had to give him both. Milk because he's hungry. 
and praise because he deserves to be worshipped. So how do she figure out when he was hungry, apart from when he was holy? Sometimes you sit down and you look at babies and you wonder, but Jesus, Jesus, how you did stay when you was a baby? But everything, what happened, there was no pampers, so they have to have nappy. You never have nappy, you know, because they said they wrap you in swaddling clothes and lay him a major. But he came to do that so that he can understand what men would be going through. So Joseph had the opportunity. Can you imagine? When he go back to him place, he couldn't call him Joseph Jr., you know. Even if he wanted to do that. He couldn't call him Joseph Jr. And then he can call him father. I'm a baby. So he had to call him the name that was given to him. And the name was Jesus. And this morning, brothers and sisters, that name is a powerful name. You don't have to shout it out loud, because it has power. And if you shout it out, it has power. Anyhow you call it, it is called Jesus. And the same power comes out of it. I don't know if you have had a chance where you have a dream. Where you are fighting the enemy. And it appears as if you can't even call the name Jesus. But just a whisper comes out. And just that whisper of the name Jesus. The enemy run. The enemy run. So I want to tell you how powerful that name is. But again, another question I ask myself and wonder about the baby Jesus in his baby state. You know, sometimes parents look at children and say, what in the world are you doing? I wonder if Mary or Joseph, Jesus did something and they asked him that question. But I would ask, what are you doing in this world? Because he's the Holy One. So why come to a sinful world like this? But if we look on the cross, we would see what in the world he was doing and why he was here in this world. Because the cross makes the difference there. So he came into the world and the question could not be asked, what in the world are you doing? Neither the question could be asked, why are you in this world? Because sooner or later, the cross will tell the story. So this morning, brothers and sisters, Christmas is a time of giving. Mary gave her womb. Joseph gave his love. The cow gave his manger. God gave his son. What are you giving today? God gave Jesus. Will you give him your heart? He needs a place to dwell. And the place he needs to dwell in is your heart. He has a package this morning to give to somebody. The package will fit just in your heart. Open up and receive your gift this morning. Because the Spirit of God is passing and He's handing out gifts to all who receive. But what if Jesus had not come? If He had not come, God would be unknown to us. If He had not come, we would not know that Jehovah saves. If he did not come, our prayers would be unanswered. So let us come boldly to the throne of grace. 
and talk to him this morning. Today, because Christ is here, we have the assurance he will always be our home. He promises never to leave us, neither forsake us. He is here this morning. Will you receive him? Bow your heads with me. Christians and sinners this morning, we are all here. This is a season in which we need to be closer drawn to the Lord amidst our festivity and our celebrations. Jesus is here this morning ready to give gifts. Will you receive him this morning? Just bow your heads and talk to the Lord this morning. And if you are not a Christian in this season, stop thinking about the party that you should be going. Stop thinking of the friends that you should be going. This is a time where a lot of accidents take place. And a lot of lives are being lost during this time. What if it would be you or me? Where will your soul go? And if you want to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior this morning, just raise your hands and I'll pray with you and for you. Into my heart, I don't want you to see you, just pray. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in. short of your glory. Lord, your word says there is not one without sin. But Lord Jesus, you commended your life for us. That while we are yet sinners, you died for us. Lord, we don't want to receive the wages of sin. But this morning, Lord, we ask for the gift of life. The real eternal life, Lord, that you have promised to give to us. So this morning, mighty God, there would, can be someone sitting here this morning. Want to make a move to serve you, but is afraid to do so. I pray this morning in the name of Jesus. That as that person make the altar, the seed the altar this morning. Lord, forgive. 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 Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness and your cleansing. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Jesus is here. Will you receive him? 
Praise the name of the Lord. We have a few things to say before we leave here this morning in the form of notice and announcements. But I believe that the Holy Spirit is speaking to somebody. If the Spirit is knocking at the door of your heart, do not turn his pleading away. If you yield not his will, he'll forever depart. And it will be too late to pray. It will be